Cowabunga! Hey, what's up guys? Batman 1999 here. And today we are going to be reviewing the um, Mega Bloks um, Halo Master Chief set with uh, the helmet and everything. And also we're going to be taking a look at this set of four figures from the Mega Bloks Halo line. It looks like it includes two little alien guys. Now, Moki Mars knows more about this stuff, like I said, uh, than, than I do. Um, and then also, there is their weapons and stuff that you can display them with. As well as just, this is pretty cool stuff. Um, you got some other figures available that you can get. I wonder what those purple things are. They look pretty cool. Um, and then, like... Okay, so this is apparently something they call a Spartan. The gray guy is. That guy is also something they call a Spartan. A Spartan, a grunt, and a jackal. Okay, that's what we'll call them. So the blue one is a jackal. Like the ice blue one is a jackal. That's a grunt. That's a Spartan. And okay, so those two are Spartans. That's a grunt and a jackal. Okay, alrighty then. Let's get these things out of the box, see what these got, what they can do. Now, by first glance, you would think that they uh, actually have a set to go with them, but no, they just have this, which I guess would just be a display stand. So let's go ahead and take everything out. Like I said, there's not a lot going on with this one, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get this. A grunt. I think that's what it's called. Let me know in the comments down below what these things actually are. And I just popped his head off. Uh, there we go. Let's get the guns out here. Yeah. There we go. Get this guy out here. The jackal. Okay, there he is. Get the gun out here for these Spartans. Whoa, there we go. We're sliding. Let's just say if there's a thief that tried to steal these in stores, they'd have a hard time getting them out. Okay, his armor is coming up. Wonderful. Okay. Now, let's see all this stuff here. Alrighty. Okay, let's go ahead and move this stuff from the other set away. And here's the stuff that comes with these. There's our jackal. That actually looks kind of looks really cool. I like the way this thing looks. The articulation on these things is really cool too. Unique. Okay, and then this guy comes with his own little gun. And this fits in his hand perfectly. Pew, pew, pew. Now, I'm guessing these are one of the villains you fight on the game. Now, the reason I got these is kind of to uh, learn from Moki Mars a little because, like I said, he knows Halo like the back of his head. Um, he's more a fan of, like, Call of Duty games and stuff, but he plays Halo on the occasion. And as you saw, this Spartan came apart as I was taking him out of the packaging, but this stuff simply goes right back together, so that's not a terrible problem and then let's put the head back on him and then these guys come with their own guns too i'm guessing this one goes with him i don't know if it goes with him or not but like i said i don't play the game much so i've played it with milky mars a couple of times and that was it um and that's been like 300 years ago it feels like so, I don't even know the characters other than Master Chief, so. And then, there's the grunt guy that I made fun of in the past 20 seconds. And then there he is. And then he's got his own little gun. Put that in his hand. Now, the grunt looks pretty cool. I like him. Looks pretty cool. And I'll go over all their articulation later because they all have their own unique point of articulation, their own unique points of articulation. This one seems to be the most limited of the bunch. Oh, and this goes with this guy. His little shield, I guess. That's pretty darn cool right there. 
It's like Captain America style. <laughs> He's really almost invisible. I could not see him. It's like, there you go. He's invisible. No, he's not really invisible. It's just really hard to see him. Now, this guy's also, I guess, a Spartan. And then there's his gun. He looks pretty cool. I like the red paint on him. Oh, man, that looks so cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting this base together. I'll go over details here in a little bit. We'll look at each and every one of them uniquely. Okay, so this is just big, one big long stand. And then I guess this goes like that. See, this is something that, like, I guess you could just put together on your own, however you want. And then this right here I'm going to put on this piece here. I'm going to put that like that. Yeah, like that. No, 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 that's uneven. I'm not going to put it like that. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so you apparently can't put it like that. You're going to have to put it so I'll have to put it somewhere. I'll figure something out. Okay, um, so what does it look like on the box? Um, oh, okay. Let's just put it like this. Okay, so those are like that, and then that just kind of just lays there. Okay, so there's your display stand, I guess. It's kind of a poor display stand, if you ask me, but... Wait, 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 wait. no, never mind. That's how it goes. Oh, I feel so stupid now. Okay, so that is how it goes. There is your Halo display stand. Put that like this. There we go. That's starting to look like the box. That is how you assemble your display stand for your figures. And then let's just go ahead and put these guys up here. And we will go over each of their points of articulation individually, one at a time, considering these guys are... Each a little different. Now these two are pretty much the same, but these guys are a little different. I really like this one. Out of all of these, I think I like him the best, though. I like monster-looking creatures, though. That's me. I, I played I played D and D with some of my buddies a uh, long time ago in this thing that they had at school. Uh, it was a fantasy club, and I had a lot of fun doing that. And then here's Master Chief. Like I said, we'll review each of these individually, but let's go ahead and start with uh, this guy here. Now, this guy right here has got a lot of good paint work on him. I really like that right there. Um, I just like this guy, too. Now, him, he didn't get a lot of articulation. Um, he uh, kind of ended up the one in the bunch that didn't get as much. I just like the detailing on him. He looks really cool. Okay, for him, he has a ball joint in the head, which you saw earlier. It popped off on me. Uh, he has a complete 360 rotation in the arms and a hand swivel as well as the legs can kick forward and go back. Um, this guy did pretty good. Um, I like his gun, too. Like I said, this guy done pretty good. He's got a lot of detail on him. All these guys do. Okay, let's go ahead and put him back right where he belongs and let's get my favorite of the bunch out here this um what was it a jackal a jackal that's a grunt and that's a jackal i really love this i love this head sculpt guys i just love the clearness of this like he's almost invisible but he's not necessarily invisible i love this thing he's like don't mess with me bro because i'm the jackal and then, like, he's got his clear shield here, and as I showed off earlier, it can just snap onto his hand. I have it turned sideways right now. But, uh, yeah, he's got quite a bit of articulation. And then going down, then he's got the weird shaped toes. That looks so cool, though, like the spiked toes. Okay, and then his articulation, he has a ball joint in the head which his head can pop off, which I just love this thing. Uh, ball jointed shoulders, a bend at the shoulder, or bend at the elbow shoulder, a bend at the elbow, swivel at the hand, he has a waist swivel, 
His legs can kick forward, they can go back as well as outwards and inwards. They're connected on a ball joint and they can bend at this weird looking dog-like hinge at the foot there, which is really, really cool. And let's put him back on the display. And then we'll grab the Spartan here. And I like the armor here with him. It looks really cool. And this armor can come apart. And I'm not really going to demonstrate that, but it can come apart. I saw on the Master Chief box, and I know this piece comes off because it come off when I was getting them out of the packaging. And I really like this detail on the armor. It really looks cool. Just all the way around, they detailed this guy out pretty darn good. And then they even detailed his gun out here. I mean, it's a solid plastic co uh, color, but uh, they detailed that out pretty good. Now, his articulation, he has a ball jointed in the head. Um, arms can go outwards, inwards, all the way around. It is a pin and socket joint, not a ball joint. Sorry, guys, I thought there was somebody at the door. A bend at the, a, a bend at the elbow and a swivel at the elbow. Um, it's a little bit tricky, but it, it is there. Um, a swivel at the hand as well. Uh, legs can kick forward. They can go back. They are on a ball joint at the legs, which they can pop off. A bend at the knee, and that's pretty much it for his articulation. Let's go ahead and let's put him back on the display stand. And let's grab our other Spartan here. Now, I like this guy's armor, too. Um, the blue uh, looks really, really good. I really like this thing. And uh, it looks really cool. Just an overall well, well done job on these figures. Now, this is pretty much the same body sculpt on both of these figures. Um the Spartans and Master Chief. These are some of the reused parts. Now a lot of this is different for him though for some reason. And I like his gun. It looks kind of like a sci-fi Tommy gun if you get what I mean there. I really like that. Okay now his articulation he has a ball joint in the head. Pin and socket shoulders go outwards, inwards. Um, swivel at the elbow, a bend at the elbow, swivel at the hand, ball jointed legs can go forwards backwards outwards inwards and bend the knee now it's the same for him and like i said i really like all of these figures um this was not a cheap set i don't remember exactly how much i paid it was like 10 bucks or something but that was a pretty good deal for this set um, i really like this set now let's go on to the main reason why we're even doing this video and the other spartan fill over i'll fix him in a second Let's go ahead and look at Master Chief and the Warthog. Sorry about that, guys. I hate that phone. I'm going to disconnect it probably from the wall. Okay, let's go ahead and stand him back up. It's killing me. My OCD's kicking in. Okay, now I like the Warthog here. Uh, that's pretty detailed out from what I played in the games with Moki Mars. Every time I would get in the thing, I would crash it. And he couldn't, he couldn't stop laughing at me. Now, the thing actually rolls pretty good. I mean, not great, but it, it can roll. I mean, and then knock that off. Way to go, me. But yeah, it rolls pretty decent. Uh, and you can fit figures in it. So that's a good thing. I mean, you got to disconnect pieces to do so, but you can fit figures in it. Um, I guess you just stand them in it. I don't know. I guess, I guess you'd have to stand them in it. And then, never mind, I don't think you can fit figures in it. Unless you cut them in like half or something. I mean, I'm gonna probably end up, I'll figure something out, let's see. If I squeeze it in. Okay guys, it looks like you are gonna have a hard time fitting a figure in it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I got it, I got Master Chief's legs in. Okay, so you're gonna have to, if you're gonna put a figure in it, it's gonna be really hard. There might be another trick to this, but the only thing I'm finding out is you're gonna have to have them standing up the whole time if you want a figure inside this. Let's go ahead and take Chief out, put this back together, and um, yeah, the Warthog looks good. That's That's pretty much it for that. Um, 
like I said, it's detailed out, just like I saw in the game anyway. Um, and I don't know what this is supposed to be. Let me know in the comments down below what this is supposed to be. Um, but it looks good. It looks really good. Okay, as for Master Chief here, he looks good too. And this video is going on way too long, guys. I don't like going on this long. Uh, this 15 minutes, like I said, it's one of my pet peeves. The armor looks really, really good for the Chief. I really like this. Um, I need to get a Captain America mega box. That way I could do a stop motion of Captain America versus Master Chief. The first one was the way it would have happened, guys, if you've seen that superpower beat down. That was the way it was going to happen to begin with. So, anyway, long story short, I really like this figure. I like the detailing on the gun as well. Give it a sec, give it the focus. Come on, it's like focus. Focus. If I get closer. Ah, it doesn't matter. But the detailing on the gun looks really good. Uh, yeah, you can see it better now. I just love the detailing on this armor. It looks really cool. Okay, um, as for the articulation of Master Chief himself, he does have a ball-jointed head. Shoulders can go outwards, inwards, forwards, backwards, bend at the elbow, swivel at the elbow, swivel at the hand. Ball-jointed legs can go outwards, um, in, forwards, backwards, inwards, outwards, and bend at the knee. And then the display stand looks pretty cool. I like this display stand. I really like the display stand. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it looks cool. And then, like, and you, and then as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I've already displayed him with my Ninja Turtles, and that looks pretty cool. And then here is the helmet. Hello, everyone. You guys are seeing my camera here through the helmet. And the helmet looks pretty cool. I like this helmet. I really love it. It's like, let's try on the helmet. I am Master Chief now. Where are we going? We're running. Okay, we're running, everyone. No. Oh, oh, where are we? We fell on the ground, and we're back in reality, everyone. We are not Master Chief. We are Batman1999 at YouTube.com. Okay, guys. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, what we're going to do here, we're going to measure these, and that's going to be it. Okay, guys, now here's the measurements. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand it up behind the chief. And the chief is the seeming to be the tallest one. Um, the Now, now I take that back, the Spartan is. There's chief standing at two inches tall. The grunt here, or not the grunt, but the these two are actually about the same height. That's about two and maybe, maybe a half inches, or one and a half inches, sorry. And then this guy right here, the uh, um, the guy I like, he's just a little over um, one and a half inches. Spartan here's two, and then that one over there is two as well. Now, what I'm going to do, I am not going to bring in the Marvel Select comic book version of the Incredible Hulk in this video because you guys know that he's going to be bigger than these anyway. So what we're going to do, we are going to compare them to my Mega Bloks Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures. And, and for this instance, the quickest one I could grab was Mikey. So let's go ahead and throw him next to the um, Grunt here. And Mikey is a little bit bigger as well as my uh, friend here, my uh, Jackal. And he is also taller. Let's get him behind the Chief. And he's taller than the Chief. He's also taller than the Spartan. And he's taller than the other Spartan. Wow, Mikey. You're 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 eating your carrots, buddy. There you, there you go. Fist bump. Mm. Okay. Let's get Mikey out of the way. Okay, guys. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this set just like I do. Um, I love each of these figures for what they are and what their purposes are for. Um, I cannot wait to display these guys around. Um, I'm looking really forward to getting more Mega Bloks Halo figures. Um, I don't know for sure if I'm going to get any anytime soon, but I do know for a fact that I love the ones that I do have. 
and cannot wait to get some more. Um, that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below and let me know what you think of these figures. Um, that's it, guys. Um, be sure to check out Moki Mars 84848, my friend Jeremy Allen Entertainment, Zach Nalen, and Terminator 2007. That's it for this video, guys. Peace out. Okay, guys, now that your ship's fixed, do you want to get some pizza? Okay.